Hi guys and welcome to another random rambling and before I'm going to start I have to say once again actually because I already did this video it was like 50 minutes long and I was really happy with all the stuff I talked about just to see when wanted to edit it that I did hit the record button but sometime for some reason in the wrong order or so so I didn't film me talking but I filmed me cleaning up the room <laughs> Oh man, so I have to do it again. But before I'm going to start with the actual video, a huge, crazy big thanks to all of you for the last random rambling because I asked for you to send me feedback and give me a like if you like these kind of videos. And I was, I was almost overwhelmed with the feedback I got back because people told me that's a nice format they really like me talking about those stuff and they want to see more like it and the length was okay and so and this is something I actually didn't expect because I did similar videos already and got 100 views and 10 15 likes and on the last video I got almost 500 views after one day and 119 likes with only two dislikes and for those two I don't know who you are I don't know where you are but I will find you and I will hunt you down. And I guess this was a bad, bad, bad Liam Neeson impersonation. <laughs> but no, two, two only dislikes. That, that's great. And 119 likes. This is amazing. So I'm really happy. And as long as you keep hitting the like button on these videos, I will definitely keep hitting the record button. And hopefully in the right, in the right order. So I have a few topics and I will try to keep them in a reasonable length. But yeah, you know what is reasonable for me. So there is good news and bad news, however you see it. Because the next point I want to talk about is I am never going to get pro. What do I mean by this? The, the first thing I mean, not going pro will mean that I will always be ready to answer your comments. I will always do that because I don't get too much views don't get too much comments, so I'm always able to do that. If I would go pro, not that I could, but if I mean, if I would do kind of that stuff, at some point I wouldn't be able to. And I think that's the good point because I will still favor all the comments and besides everything else. The bad thing though, maybe for some people is nothing will really change, nothing will improve. And a few people told me, please don't change, don't get like into all these big channels, stay yourself, stay on your personality. And first of all, I, I never planned something like this. This won't happen. I will always be me. This channel was all about being me. And I had a, rise, uh, had a really nice word the first time that I can't come up with but it was so fitting but yeah I will always be me it is about me genuine always yes with the pros and cons so also a few commenters told me they wanted to keep me keep them up there uh, or me keep them up there yeah uh, the second time is always not what I want I'm so happy with the first one if on these random ramblings but yes it didn't work out so they wanted to have them keep updated on Windows 10 if something new comes up and so on and I have one complaint or uh, suggestion for improvement for Windows 10 and that is about the snapping. If you saw my video I absolutely love the way snapping works now because I have on for example 20% of the screen I have my Twitter running, the Tweetium app and the rest is my Explorer. With the snapping now this works so great I just snap it, size it to what I want, snap it again and I have the full screen. Sometimes I have YouTube on the other side and so on, but there is one thing I would really wish to have some kind of pin button or lock button for those sizes because I would want specific apps once they have been resized and put to one or the other side always to be on that size no matter what I do because sometimes by accident or just or justify for example use splash top not on my desktop and so it changes all those sizes and I would wish that once I get back to my desktop again have all those sizes as they are and this comes with another small flaw because if you have your window snap to one side your explorer and watch a YouTube video there you hit the double double tap for full screen the whole process now looks a little bit odd. If you have the maximized window, 
the video will got, just go full screen without any flaws, but in a windowed mode it makes a little odd transition with a hiccup and so on. And that's not even the issue, the issue is once you go back from full screen to normal size, the window isn't the snap big size, but a smaller windowed version. And I'm not sure why this happened. I hope this is a fix that, or a bug that will be fixed because that is annoying. Because since I'm using always a snapped window now with another universal app on the other side, it happens just so often that I watch a YouTube video in a windowed mode, go full screen, go back, and then my window is super small and resized. Really hope for a locking mechanism and a fix for this. That's it for Windows 10. Another thing is my, my, my bullet point, reverse node edge was my idea. Samsung, I want my money. <laughs> and I'm joking, no, but what I noticed when I had the Galaxy S6 Edge, so many times I used it the other way around with the display in my hand because the Edge felt so much better the other way around, not on the front, but on the back, because the device felt more narrow and was just more pleasant to hold. And since it already is thin, it doesn't make an issue anyways. So that was something I liked. And once I saw the first leaks of the Note Edge with the curve on the other side of the phone, yes, that's what they should have already done on the Note 6 or and the S6 Edge. Yes, I know everyone likes this odd edge. I can't see a reason for it. Yeah, it looks good, but has it any purpose? At least the edge on the back has a purpose because the device just feels better. And even like three months before the launch of the S6, I did a suggestion, a few things I wanted to see on the OnePlus 2 and I sent that to OnePlus 2 and, and yeah, of course they ignored it, but they said, me, yeah, just give, give me your suggestions. And one of those suggestions were make a curve but just for about one centimeter of each side, like for example, the OnePlus has the Moto X and the One M9, but don't make it the whole way. Just make it on the side so you feel the curve and the ones in the middle you don't feel anyways and make that flat again. So the device can lay flat on the table for not a wobbling experience, which is nice. So you would have both vests. You have a nicer feel in the hand, but still no wobbling device. So Samsung, man. The joke worked definitely better the first time. <laughs> okay, one question I got from a viewer that just saw the recent video and he asked me if I could talk about if flagships are really worth it or if maybe the new higher end mid-range phones like the Moto X Play and all these are maybe worth getting it over the flagship. And this is something I, I think you have to see like this. There are always people who want the very best of the best for whatever reason. Some just want the best camera, some just want the best performance, the best display or so. And these are things you just won't always get on a mid-range device. On a mid-range device, they always have to skip a few things, skimp out on a few things. And most of the times that's the camera, that's the display and maybe the build quality or something like that, but do I think it worth, it's worth it? And for me, the perfect example would be one device. Because I think personally, there is too much of hype, especially from all reviewers about the camera. I know I get it, a lot of people, for a lot of people, the camera on a phone is super important. For me, it's not. And if I would have the choice, give me an $800 device with best of the best everything with the best camera and give me the same device with a mid-range camera from the Moto G or whatever in this price range and for the half price. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people would go for the best one just because of the camera. I wouldn't. I would take the lesser camera but get the same experience. So is the flagship worth it? It is worth it if you want some specific things to be the best. But I think it's so odd that so many people, their only decision about buying a specific phone is the camera. And so many people buy the S6 just because of the camera and even go the compromise of not that great battery life and maybe some other things like stutters and lag and so on because the system just isn't optimized well. But if the camera, I think it's mostly the camera, isn't so important for you, you are totally fine with a flagship mid-ranger. No wrong with that, the idle free or so. For me, they're personally sometimes just too big. But that's something you have to see for yourself. And uh, it's always your preference. Is it worth it, is it not? For me, the whole package has to be right. And that's most of the times just the thing in a flagship. 
Another thing I wanted to talk about is Chappie. I just saw the video, I think it was yesterday, and I absolutely loved it. So whoever saw District 9 and liked that one already, you will love Chappie. I saw the trailer, I didn't really think much of it because there it said like, yeah, a robot gets a consciousness, it's about all that. I didn't think it was that interesting, but the, the movie itself was really great. There was a deeper story into it, some little things to think about, still great action and so on. So I really liked it. It was well done, well thought through, but Hugh Jackman, three no-goes in this movie. The first one, the lesser thing, a little bit of over-the-top South African accent, okay. Second thing, the Fokuhila, no, sorry, no. Who wears it? Not even in South Africa, don't get me wrong, but it looked ridiculous. And the third thing was his shorts. He had, like, short pants, and no one in this movie had those. And, yes, in South Africa it's hot, so it's okay to use short pants, but it, it just looked so wrong in this movie. But the movie's definitely worth checking out. Next topic, True Detective Rant. I just saw the season fi finale, and I am two things unsatisfied and disappointed and i saw season one and i li and everything i liked about season one i didn't like about season two and the things that weren't already great in season one were totally she sh 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 in season two the first thing that was great in season one the acting matthew mcconaughey and woody harrelson were playing amazingly but it was their chemistry and the chemistry of all the other things around it was just so tight and the plot itself wasn't really my thing because I don't, I don't, I'm not really into this redneck and occult stuff and raping and these odd things but everything was still way more than good enough into a whole package pack design and with a dense story with those time jumps and all that I simply enjoyed the hell out of it. Season 2 convoluted story i couldn't care a shit about the characters and even the the show itself didn't care about the characters and if you watch the season you will know what i mean by it i won't spoil anything but it was so unsatisfying nothing worked out the way it did the characters were just half assly played the, the chemistry was missing all the deeper meaning, the plot was so... It didn't seem well thought through. So definitely left me unsatisfied. And the ending itself was a, not a total disaster, but an extreme disappointment. And the only good thing I see here is the third season won't have nothing to do with the second season. It can only be better. I'm personally super, super, super disappointed. And yeah, and once again I have to say I liked the first video I made so much better. But without... At least I have the audio. I could upload that maybe in some way. But that would be still the same topics. But without any video. The last thing, the German word of the day. This is something I wanted to introduce already a long time ago, but I always forgot it. What I will do at every end of these videos now is teach you a word in German. And today I have a really amazing one and I will just use the same one as I did on the first try and it was back then already really bad because I didn't think of an actual word when I made this up. So my word was dog. The dog in German, der Hund. Hund? Der Hund. Yeah. Now you learned something. <laughs> no, you did. Know what I mean? I will next time try to come up with a little bit more interesting words. So, yeah. Once again, that's it. I am halfway happy with this video, but just not as I was on the first one. Because that's why I always do uncut videos. That's why I always do whatever happens, happens videos. So if I screw something completely up, then it happens in these videos. In a review... I make a few attempts to get at least one because that's for a more broader audience and they don't accept those totally amateurish issues. On these videos, <laughs> they have to <laughs> because it's my video and I want to do them. And if I make these issues, then they are on tape and not to be erased or not to be edited. So, until next time, bye-bye.